Ayo Saint Laz L A Z A K A Z Man Suicide Polo with the ski man running around the hood like he man. You heard shout out to my bro Ebron. You heard Rikers Island legend. Now I mean we got big things cooking up. That's a fact. Make sure you go check that recent and new episodes only playlist. Got about 280 episodes on there, almost 300 episodes. If you new to the channel and you need to catch up and find out what's going on, you heard? Because you can't be lacking out here. So make sure you check that playlist. Make sure you check that Correction Officer Ebron playlist. If you ain't see all of the episodes that me and the bro Ebron put out, because some of y'all dudes think it's only two or three episodes, but we got about. Man, we got a lot of episodes, bro. So if you off point, go to that playlist, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell so you get a notification every time I drop a new episode, you heard? Because you can't afford to miss none of this. You heard? This is Hood TV, baby. If you need promo, if you a rapper, an artist, you got any type of brand, or YouTube channel or Instagram page you trying to push and you need that promo, that organic promo, get at me. It's amazing what I do for five cash. You heard? It's amazing. Z Lord. The inmate. So while he was hooking off on them, I gave that nigga right to the jaw. Bam! And he fell to his knees and he was like, oh shit, yo he. You fighting for it, niggas like that? I said, no, nigga. You not understanding what the fuck I'm telling you. I don't want to, I want to have a great day. You know what I'm saying? It seems like every time I leave that house, is the alarm going on. For bullshit. Shit that never had to happen. Or for somebody trying to prove a point a officer or inmate trying to prove a point that's unnecessary you know and that should just eat me up I mean the Warren Robinson Jet Belly when they knew I was down here in my crew Nelson, Rich Perry, Martin Big Pat you know what I'm saying Wilson Harris yo Yo, yo, son, you don't understand. Money will. We had a fucking monster team. But sometimes the whole monster team ain't there. And this day, I can't recall why I had to leave that motherfucking house. So like I tell you, I don't go to chow. I stay down there with my peeps. But that day I had to go out for something. I don't know, did they call me up front? Usually personnel will call me up front because they think I got to sign a paper or some shit. But that day I had to leave out the house. And when I came back, it was, it was short. I didn't go up there, because I don't leave a long time because I already know when I ain't there, shit go down. So when I came back, I see the eight officers don't want to buzz me in. So I'm like, yo, what the fuck? He looking down at tears, like something going down. So I'm banging on the door. Yo, motherfucker, yo, open the door. So he hesitating. And the reason why he hesitating is because another officer down there is telling him don't let me in. So I'm banging on the door. Yo, you don't see me? Then they look, they see me. He opened the door. So I go in the bubble. I see you hear me banging on the door. She was like, yo, yo, yo. Now this is a confused officer. You know, he don't know no better. He getting an order from another officer. The officer said, yo, if he gonna come, just delay him a little bit. So I get in there. I see his officer down my motherfucking tears and got one of my inmates out. And they get ready to get it on. And I'm like, yo, hold on, what the fuck is going on? So I buzz myself on the floor, and I'm having it up to tear because the officer see me coming. So he raised it, he, he said, fuck it, I'm a, 
He gonna set it on him before I get there. I said, you better not touch him, man. You better not touch him. This ain't your fucking house. What the fuck you doing? And how you get out of cell? He said, yo, E, man, you understand. This this inmate disrespect me, man. And, and he got to get it. I said, let me tell you something, motherfucker. You don't come in my motherfucking vein, crack no motherfucking cell, and get it on with none of my people down here, nigga. You ain't got the right, you off post. Now you gonna try to do this, nigga? Why you would do it when, it, when if he disrespect you out there, wherever he disrespect you? Why you ain't get it on right there? Why you ain't get it on right there? And I know why you ain't get it on right there. Cause the odds is, you, do, you don't know if your hands still good enough, nigga. You don't know if this nigga's gonna whip your ass, so if he whip your ass down here, you think you gonna get help. You got a better odds of just holding them down till help come. <laughs> None of that bullshit is happening, nigga. None of that bullshit, I know what it is, nigga. Yo, he been stay out of this, we ain't got nothing. So he tried to go around and get the nigga. So I got in front of that man. I said, did you hear what the fuck I said? He said, hey, boy, you gonna, you gonna get at me because of this inmate? No, I'm getting at it too, because you come to my post, you crack a cell, you wanna fuck this nigga up. I don't know why you wanna fuck him up, but why you wanna fuck him up when you and him got out of here, nigga? You're not doing it down here. When he down here with me, can't custody and control, he and my kid, I'm controlling this motherfucker, and you are not touching them. Yo, E, man, we're, we're, we're just gonna have to do this. Yo, son, the niggas, forgive me, man, the niggas, and you know, I knew the, I knew the officer, you know, me and the officer, we all right, you know, but, you know, the nigga tried to go around me, man, so I, I hooked off on the nigga, son, because he just, he tried to hook off on the inmate, so while he was hooking off on him, I gave that nigga right to the jaw. Bam! And he fell to his knees, and he was like, oh shit, yo E, you fighting for inmates like that? I said, no nigga, you not understanding what the fuck I'm telling you. You disrespecting me, nigga. So he, he got up, and he was like, yo man, I can't wait to tell people. You know, I said, tell who the fuck you want, son. Tell them who the fuck you want. Tell who the fuck you, I don't care. Cause I know I'm right and you wrong. Nah, man, but you, 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 you hooked on for me for this, this. No, no, son. I hooked on for you cause you tried to disrespect me, nigga. You came in my area, you tried to disrespect me. So I told the inmate, yo, man, go back to your cell, man. So they inmate looked at me, man. He was like, yo, E, man. I said, yo, you ain't got to explain nothing, man. Go your cell. I told the officer, yo, lock your cell, man. Today, I'm on fire, man, because I get mad. I get mad, man. At least you ain't pounding nigga out all crazy. I didn't have to pound him out, because when I hit that, yo, son, when you hook off on somebody, like I told you, you got to be ready to finish, finish him. Mortal Kombat, nigga. I never said, yo, you gotta finish him, son. You gotta have that beastly mentality in there. And it, it just, I hate it to have to put the hands on this dude. You know? But this dude, he was somebody, like I said. He got a name, he's somebody. But now, you testing the waters with me. So now you think, you know, oh no. No, no, the hormones is going, nigga. The test is on is going. So now you, I feel like you, you, you know, you, you want to get it. You want to get it on. And when he tried to push aside me, you know, the little push that he gave me was like, you know, one of them niggas like you that bump food, nigga. Yo, son, that was it, nigga. We don't do that. We don't do that. No tolerance. No matter who you, we don't do that. When I hit that nigga, he fell on his knees, and I looked at him, he was in disbelief. But nigga, you tried me. First you want to beat up my mate, and now you trying to overrule me. No, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. He just said, yo, wait till I tell all the officers 
how this shit went down. Tell who the fuck you want. You the violator, nigga. You the violator. And the whole thing saw that shit too. Now you put this out. Now they say, oh, he brought drop such and such. Yo, and I didn't want to, but you called your hand call for that, nigga. They had a call for that. You know? They had a call for that, son. You know, I hate it. I hate it to put hands on him, man. But his hand call, he know his hand call for it. And he know who he is. And I'm letting him know if he see this documentary, your son. You know, you really hurt me because I had to put hands on you. But you test me. You know? You test me. After that, you did know, you know, know that happened? dude? Did you know that dude that, that he was trying to fight? The inmate, I know all my I know all my inmates. But I'm does. saying like he was peoples, he was trying to fight peoples, or it was just a regular dude. No, yo son, let me tell you something. When you down there, when they come in and bang, the first thing I do is take him they they show you, you know, do do, do the uh, A and B gate, show you down. But what I do when they come in my bang, like a job interview, I tell them to go in the day room. They go in the day room, I said, take a seat. They take a seat and I lay the law down to them, just like that. You understand? I lay the law down. I get a relationship with them soon when they come through the door. It's either gonna be a good relationship or it's gonna be a bad relationship. You know, sometimes niggas come through and you know they good. Some niggas like yo, see yo, I ain't trying to hear that. And I'm like yo, son, I'm just trying to yo, man, you know whatever, whatever. And then that's what happened. You know whatever, ever. Blinded by the light, uh -huh. I woke up in the middle, in the middle of the night. You know, lights out. Now we gonna do this again. You understand what I'm saying? All right, man, yo, man. Yo, yeah, yo, you asked for it, nigga. You gotta get this corrective interview, nigga. I have to have an interview before you come in my house. And I get a relationship with everybody that come in. Cause I, I need to know their head structure. I, learned, I just need to know where they at. I need to show them where I'm at. And as long as we on the same page, we could. But when you ain't, when you ain't on the same page, you gotta door check that nigga right there, son. Right there, don't let that shit lay on. Don't waste your I'll see you tomorrow, no. It, it starts right now, nigga. It starts right now. And like most of the time, I ain't even have to go through that. You know, I ain't have to go through that. But sometimes, you did. But it's all love and respect. I think I was kissing niggas before Mike Tyson when you knocking a nigga out. Bam, you get up. You right, son? I ain't mean to do it to you, fam. But you, you, you call for it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yo. And I'm gonna tell you some. I'm gonna tell you some real shit. Like a nigga left a comment on one of your videos yesterday, saying, "Um, yo, listening to this dude's interviews, I it, 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 it's it's evident that." A lot of these COs that was on Rikers Island was was part of the. I forgot how he how he labeled it, but he's basically saying, listening to Ebron interviews, is realizing that some of these COs was a part of the problem of what was going on on Rikers Island. Now I'm just telling you that because these stories, you know, there may be a lot of people who say, "Yo, I love these shits." He keeping it real, he keeping it official. But then there is gonna be niggas. That's by the book ass niggas That's gonna be like Yo nah He was putting hands on inmates Or they was letting inmates fight Or blah 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 But see The thing about that son They know That I wasn't letting nobody get hooked down there That's my main thing nigga Yeah see this, like this I said, when you, Yeah that. see how I look at it is like this bro You know what I mean Not to cut you off But like it's like this Niggas don't under, a lot of people will never understand the intricacies of jail unless they're in jail. Like, it's easy to say the CO should do this, the CO shouldn't do that. The inmate should do this, the inmate should, it's easy to say that shit, but when you actually in there and jail is going on, it's, it's, it's so much shit that comes into play, you can't say that 
a CO is wrong for doing this. You can't say the inmate is it's hard, it's complicated. Like Facebook can say status is complicated, this shit gets complicated. But I'm just saying, there is some people out there that's gonna feel like, oh, the COs on Rikers Island was fucking gangsters, and they should and they should be uh, brought up for, they should be um, held responsible for some of the shit they did. And realistically, there is some COs that was on Rikers Island. I know it was COs that was smacking the shit out of 16 year old kids all the time. Nigga might have been nigga smacking their whole head off. Now some may say, yo, you hit, you putting your hands on little kids, but then others may say it was 16 year old niggas that was cutting niggas whole face open, stabbing niggas, cutting niggas, blown, giving niggas scars for life, sending niggas to the outside hospital to get stitches, and and niggas almost dying from some of the scars and stabbings they was receiving from 16 year olds. So it is a double edged sword. And there is no real right or wrong. It's just that mass incarceration of black people is wrong. And hiring COs in those environments and expecting them to be able to do their job by the book is almost, it's, it's ridiculous. It's silly. It's not going to happen because they in situations where it's too many, it's, the jails is overpopulated, it's less staff. It's all type of wild shit that, that makes a CO become who he becomes. Cause a lot of CEOs that came to, to the job, yo, I'm by the book. I ain't doing nothing that ain't by the book. How long does that I shit last? Those. Yo, son, I had those. I had CEOs that come in and you know they they buy the book or whatever, you know, and stuff. And, and yo, I don't knock nobody, you know, for what they want to do. But you gotta understand that uh, there's different circumstances for different circumstances. You understand what I'm saying? Straight up. Some some people, you can slap them on one side of the face or punch them on the other side of the face and they turn the other side and let you do it on the other side. You know? But some people, you can hit them one time and they're going down. And some people, you can look at them at the wrong way and it's going down. It's going down. So the different scopes for different folks. That's all I'm saying. It was just certain CEOs we did not let come down there with us. That's it. There was certain CEOs you could not come down there. You couldn't come. We had tell the captain we don't want them. We run the house by ourselves because we see it's going to be a problem. It's going to be a problem. Straight up. You know what, what, what what happens what happens if a CO tell on another CO like report them to the captain or report them to the do you got COs that do shit like that? Of course. Of course they, they do it all the time. But it's to the captain discretion to do what you know what he wanna do with it. You know? But like I said, me me personally, me personally, they call the captain for for me, Captain Yo, he brought this guy. No, give me another officer. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. We don't need him. He was not ready to be down here. You know, I've done seen situations, son, that niggas, officers, come down here and they want to get it on. No, niggas, get it on out there, son. What you mean, Don't coming down here to get it on with inmates? Yeah, yeah, like an inmate did something to him. No, no, no. We're not having that. We don't do that. We don't do that, son. Whatever the incident happened, get it on. If it happened in the mess hall, get it on in the mess hall. Happened in the corner, get it on the corner. Law lobby, yo, set it there. You're not coming down here resolving your problems, nigga. It ain't going to happen. It ain't going to happen. Because whenever shit pop off, it poses a pop off. My dogs know. You know, just DMX. My dogs know. And what's, no, no, no. What's yeah. the main reason, though? What's the main reason that you you not hearing that? Because, see, when shit go wrong, it goes wrong on me. It happened in my area. 
How loud is it happening? Like if an it's inmate die, like if a dude die or get it's extremely hurt, he going it's gonna fall back on you, right? Everything falls on me. Everything falls on me. So no, no, no. You talk about by the book, that's by the book. By the book is no nigga. You don't belong here. It's not going down. You're not touching nobody. The other my kid cuts in control. You got a problem with that nigga? You go out there, when you see him out there, let me see you do what you do. Cause you, I know what I can do, nigga. You do what you do, nigga. You know, they be like, yo, he bro, how you run that 52 pickup? I didn't even taught me, nigga. When I first started the fucking job, I seen a devil getting on. He was ripping these niggas ass. I was amazed. And I went to him. I pulled him to the side after he was all wrong. I said, yo, that's the fly shit I ever saw in my life. I said, yo, how you do that? He's like, ah, yeah, you like my skill, I ain't like that, that. I said, yeah, I like it. I said, yo, I want you to teach me that. He was like, what? I said, yo, you know, I, you know, I want to add that to my arsenal. He said, man, come on, see, yo, come on. Yo, e, you for real? I said, I'm for real. Yo, that nigga taught me. It took about a month. Me getting slapped the fuck up <laughs> by that 52 big up. And said, yo, son, the greatest. The greatest. That was one of the greatest things I learned in jail to, to, to put in my arsenal. And believe me, that sucker works. That sucker works. I used to play around and spar with some of the officers. And I'd be doing that shit too much. I don't do it too much because niggas, you can't learn this from one day, nigga. And he taught me, I ain't teaching nobody else. You know? He taught me that since last. That yo, that's better than going to the fucking academy. <laughs> no bullshit. That shit saved a lot of shit. You was using 52 uh, on, on niggas in there when they wanted to get it on? Yeah, that's what was, that's, that's the, that's the sweet shit about it. And they be like, yo, what? Yo, what the, yeah. Some of them just start laughing. Nah, I'm not fucking with you, son. It was real. Or once I do with that shit, they catch that nigga. Yo, nah, nah. We all good, man. Give it to me, man. Yo, you got it. You got it. You know somebody, nigga. <laughs> I know somebody who, yeah, I had to get my slaps. Yo, yo, this, yo, you can't. Yo, like I said, jail was smooth for me, man, you know. You know, it's, you know, there's nothing good about jail, and I don't want nobody to go to jail. That's why I be talking to you, you know, telling the documentary and stuff, because like now, I told you three months ago, the chances of now you go to jail, you might die, look what happened. Since I told you, how many inmates done died last? About three or four of them. It's like 19 Since I inmates told you this that. year. It's like 19 inmates that died. I don't know how all of them died. I don't, no, so, but I'm talking about since I met you. And I told you when you told me they were closing the thing down. They closed it. I told you within the three months I talked to, I think about two or three inmates that died already. You know? And, hey, I, I'm telling you, you know, niggas talk shit, but niggas know, man. That thing helped a lot of people. I mean, yeah, it fucked a lot of people up. You know, I feel like I'm fucked up. I've been down there long, 22 years down there. My head ain't all right, but I'm, I'm keeping it right. You know, I'm, 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 I'm like, you know, y'all gonna make me lose my mind up in here, up in here. Yeah, I get like that. Y'all gonna make me act a fool up in here, up in here. Yeah, yeah, it goes down like that. Hey, yo, holla at me for that promo. Like I told you, it's amazing what I do for five cash. You heard? Holla at me with your business straight. I get you popping out here. That's a fact. Pottersfield, NYC.